Hey gang, welcome back for another video here on Jochem. Okay gang, so again with the short video trend here, because this video is more about, you know, very similar to the uh, ether synthesis one where it's just, let's look at a reaction we've done before, but with phenol, so kind of very similar to be honest. So in this video, I want to talk about EAS reactions with phenol. So that's right, we're going to harken back to all the things we learned the first time around with benzene and kind of bring it into this new forefront adventure with, uh, you know, the new chemistry we've been doing, aromatic wise. So, EAS with phenols, pretty much business as usual. Everything you've learned applies directly with just kind of maybe one little caveat, and I'll explain why it'll make sense, don't worry. So with phenol, right, we know this is an electron donating group, this OH group, right, because we know this is an electronegative atom directly attached to our benzene ring, right? That's what we have to look for when determining what kind of group we're dealing with, EDG or EWG, and we know that this pumps electrons into the benzene ring and it puts lone pairs on, by doing so, it puts lone pairs on our ortho, para, and ortho position. So we know it's an EDG and we know it's an ortho para director, right? So for example, if I were to toss up a reaction like this, I gave you the conditions for nitration, H2SO4, very, very easy to see that of course, we're going to direct ortho para, and we know for steric reasons, the major product here, like we would expect, is the nitro group going para to our OH, right? Would we make a small amount of the ortho product naturally? But you know, that's that's the type of analysis we would do before you even started this video, right? The one maybe gotcha is if you were gonna do something like this. Let's say we hit phenol. And let's say we were gonna do a Friedel Crafts acylation, right? So remember, we need our trusty ALCL3 catalyst, but we need an acid chloride. So let's just say I just acetyl chloride right here, right? Two carbon acid chloride. This is a bit iffy. You wanna maybe stay away from doing this directly because you're gonna get a mix of what you'd expect, right? Which is this product right here. But you're also gonna get a mix a split mix of, oh, that's a really ugly ring, sorry gang. You're gonna get a mix of this as well. Just like we did in the last video. This, you, you have the EAS product definitely forming, but at the same time, remember, this is an alcohol. So you're gonna do uh, an addition elimination uh, reaction with the acid chloride. So you're gonna get a mix of ester and your EAS product. So the fa safest thing to do, so I'd say business as usual with EAS with phenols, but if you're gonna do a Friedel Crafts acylation, to avoid this, just make sure to maybe do, maybe take your phenol, do a Williamson ether synthesis to make it an alkoxy benzene, then do, then do your Friedel Crafts acylation. Right, and then feel free to then do the transform, do a transformation if it makes sense given your structure. How we can then recover our phenol type character from the alkoxy benzene, like the ether aspect of your structure. So again, a short video, not too much new new here, right? Just maybe a cautious warning to watch out for doing Friedel Crafts acylations with phenols, right? With your O, with your hydroxy character present. Make sure to do those with alkoxy benzenes. And yeah, just the prior knowledge applies. So thanks for tuning in. Y'all are great. I'll see you in the next video.